Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So first step, let's create new background. Right mouse, new and solid, add name background. And click OK. Then change color. Go to FX presets, search effect field. And select this field used for this background solid. And let's change color like this. Click OK and lock background layer. OK and go to shape layers. Select this rounded range tool and let's make one shape like this. Click selection tool and go to fill. Let's select this color like this. Click OK and change stroke 5 stroke width and go to change stroke color dark blue click ok let's see ok not bad and let's change fill color like this okay. then change name phone and select this phone ctrl d and let's change name phone display ok and open options, contents, range 1 and range pattern 1. Let's click this icon and change size like this. Okay, go to fill. Let's change color white. Click OK. And let's move to up. Change size like this. Move to down. Okay, nice. And let's select this display. Control D for duplicate. Change name button. And open options. Contents. Range 1. And range part 1. Change roughness like this. And change size. Okay. And move to down. Let's change size again move to down okay so in this time let's create a new null object right mouse new and null object this is our controller let's change name controller and hold control and double click this icon for move to anchor point center and move to here and select this phone display and button shape layers pair to this controller and let's select this phone and display and button open options okay and first step let's select this phone open range 1 and range part 1 click this icon and go to here make new size keyframe go to here first second change size 0 let's make keyframes easy let's see okay and in this time, select this phone display, make size keyframe, go to here and change size 0. Move to here, this keyframe, make keyframe is ease. Let's see. Okay. And select this button, make size keyframe and go to here, change size 0. Move to here. Then Select this button, display and phone. Press U for see only keyframes. And select button keyframes, make easy again. And select these keyframes, move to left, let's see. Okay, and go to graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Select this graph, move to left. And this, move to left. Let's see. Nice. And select these graphs, move to right, and this. Nice. So in this time, select this phone display, move to right, and this button, move to right. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's move to right again. And move to right this button. 
nice so in this time let's go to project open coin composition and this is vectors from freepick.com i will add the download link and project files select this hand layer ctrl c back to morphing composition and ctrl v let's press s change scale and go to here so in this time let's select this hand press p make new position chain frame and go to here move to like this and select chain frames make easy hold she press air go to first second make rotation chain frame and go to here change rotation make chain frames again easy and let's see Okay, select these chain frames, move to right and go to graph editor, select this graph and make smooth like this. Okay, let's select these chain frames, move to right and select chain frames, move to left. Okay, so in this time, let's select this hand layer, go to effects presets, search effect CC band. And select this CC bandit. Let's use for this hand layer. Okay, select this pin, move to up, and this move to here. Let's change band. Okay, let's move to here this. Okay, let's say again. Move to here again. And this. Okay. Nice. So change band zero and in this time make new band go to here change band like this and press U for C band K frames and go to here let's change minus 10 or minus 5 okay let's see okay let's see again and go to here Five chain frames, change zero. Select chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, and in this time, change rotation like this, and in change rotation again like this, and change minus ten. Let's see. Nice. Go to one chain frame, make new position and rotation go to here and move to down this hand change rotation like this let's see okay select these last three frames move to right okay nice so in this time select this hand layer move to right let's see nice so in this time go to here and this J frame, let's move to right for slow animation. Let's see. Nice. So when this hand layer click form, we can make morphing animation. And select this form. Make size J frame and go to here. Change size like this. Let's see. Okay, change like this and open settings, go to here, make roughness J frame, go to here again, change roughness like this. Okay, and make J frames easy and select this phone display, go to here and make new size J frame, go to here change size like this and like this and open settings for this display go to here make roughness chain frame go to last chain frame and change zero and let's change size like this and go to here make new passing chain frame go to here and move to up let's see 
Okay, not bad. And select this button. Go to here, make new size shape frame, go to last shape frame. And change size like this and like this. And open settings. Go to here, make new position and new roughness shape frame. Go to last shape frame. Change roughness zero. Move to up and move to right. Okay, change size like this. Okay, let's select shape frames. Make easy ease. Let's say again. Okay. So in this time, let's close button and select this three shape layer. Let's close hand settings. Okay, select these three shape layers, press U for CJ frames and select this button shape frames, move to left, select this phone display shape frames, make easy and select all shape frames, go to graph editor and select these graphs, move to left for smooth and this green, move to left. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. So we can add other objects here. Let's close these settings and go to shape layer. Select this wrenchel tool and add wrenchels here. Okay, click section tool and open settings. Wrenchel one, wrenchel part one and move to here this layer and click this size icon make new size shape frame move to right and change size zero select shape frames make easy and move to here let's see okay select shape frames go to graph editor select shape frame move to left for smooth graph okay close this shape layer change name text one and back to shape frames Select this text one and move to right and control D move to right this layer and move to down. Let's see. Again control D move to right and move to down. Let's see again. Okay, not bad. Select this controller and let's press P. Make new position J frame and move to down. Go to 10 chain frame, move to up, go to 10 chain frame again, move to down, go to 10 chain frame again, move to up. Let's see. Select chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Nice. And go to graph editor. Select this graph, make like this. And this graph, move to left. Okay, go to first second, select this controller, hold shift, press air, make rotation chain frame and change rotation like this. And in this time change rotation minus 4 and go to here, change 2, go to here, change 0. Let's see. Okay, select chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay. And select this phone, press U and select K frames, move to right and change this size zero. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's move to right this K frame. Okay, in this time after click animation, make new passing K frame and go to 10 K frame. Move to up, go to again 10 K frame. Move to down, go 10 chain frame again, move to up. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's select this chain frame, move to up. Let's see. Okay, and go to here. Move to down. Okay, not bad. And in this time, make rotation chain frame. Go to here, change rotation. And go to here, change rotation like this, and zero. Let's see. 
nice and in this time back to coin composition select this coin ctrl c go to morphing and select this hand press u for ck frames okay and in this time ctrl v move to right this coin move to here and move to back this hand press s change scale and press p make new position k frame go to 10k frame and move to up and hold shift press s make scale k frame go to here and change zero select k frames move to right okay move to right again click this scale k frame and change scale like this make scale k frame again go to here and change scale zero let's see nice select shape frames make easy okay and select these shape frames move to left let's see again nice and go to here change scale zero let's see okay so in this time select this coin ctrl d for duplicate and let's press p select these two position k frames move to right and move to down let's see and move to right this layer and select this coin ctrl d again press p select these two position k frames again and move to left and move to up and go to here let's see okay move to right this layer so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck